Henry's cat had just seen a frightening program about little blue men who invaded the earth and upset everyone. Luckily, a very clever professor invented a secret weapon that zapped most of them. And the rest went away forever and didn't even send a postcard. Henry's cat was very impressed and thought it would be nice to save the world and be a big hero. The thought was still in his mind when he drifted off into a deep sleep. Professor Henry's cat gazed at the midnight sky, just checking that the universe was working okay. But what did he see? It was a strange flying machine. A closer look revealed it to be full of little blue men. Professor Henry's cat lost no time. He pressed the panic button, which immediately delivered a cup of coffee and two Swiss rolls. He was prepared. Jumping onto his two and a half speed superbike, he was soon at the laboratory of Dr. Chris Rabbit, the mad genius who was just testing his latest invention, a donut cannon that checked for jam leaks. It worked first time. Oh, we are about to be invaded by little blue men from Jupiter. Invent something to stop them. I'll be back in 20 minutes, said Henry's cat. The little blue men had landed and were frightening everyone. They even poked their tongues out at Comfortable Bulldog. When he said, What's all this? Yeah, yeah. He knocked his helmet off and jumped on it. It was a very serious situation. Professor Henry's cat hurried back to the laboratory of Dr. Chris Rabbit. I've done it! I've done it! said Chris. Oh, have you made an anti-magnetic thermonuclear double repeatable isotropic laser gun? inquired Henry's cat. No! said Dr. Rabbit. Oh, have you invented a biological molecular atom fission blaster? No, no, said Dr. Rabbit. Oh, have you conceived a computer-controlled audiotronic reciprocating guarded missile? asked Henry's cat. No, 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 it's this, a clockwork tickle. You wind it up and it runs up your legs and tickles you under the arms and everywhere. This was a secret weapon the space invaders were not prepared for. Professor Henry's cat and Dr. Rabbit took a large bag of clockwork tickles and headed back to the space invaders as fast as they could go. Then, hiding behind a bush, they set off all the tickles at the little blue men. Well, the space invaders didn't know what to do. And when Dr. Rabbit produced his donut cannon with donuts full of super glue, they couldn't even move to scratch themselves. The invasion was soon over. But some of the tickles had run up Henry's cat's legs and he scratched so hard he woke up and found he'd been dreaming and was itching because of his woolly pyjamas. He was very relieved to find the little blue men had gone Oh, well, an itching time saves nine, so I've saved something, even if it's not the world, said Henry's cat, and went back to a sleep fit for a hero. <laughs>